Washington. So they will have plates. Like, they had a whole section. Whole section. <laughs> yeah, so we were, um, we were always, we would go to, we would go to Detroit because my, um, my Uncle Amos and my cousin, they had houses there, so we would go there and, and meet up and just have a big cookout. We would meet up for my, um, my great grandmother, Miss, we called her Miss Oni. We would go, yep, we would go, um, Miss Oni's birthday was April 20th, so we would go and have a thing that Mother's Day, we would always go to Champagne, and then for Thanksgiving, we would all be in Chicago. And we used to do that when uh, Miss Oni passed, we, we had stopped doing it and stuff, but we done started back doing family reunions now. But yeah, but. No, it's, yeah, it was uh, years ago at a family reunion. My father said, you know, son, I, I turned around and we were the old folks. Right. And now that's like with our generation. Right. What you're describing is carrying on that tradition. It, yeah. You know, so that responsibility falls on us to continue that. And we have longevity because my, my, my great uncle just passed away last year. He was 96. Wow. He was 96. He was still driving until that December uh -huh. of, 90, uh, of, 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 of 2000. And um, 15, <laughs> he passed away in February 2016. Oh man! He was still driving. He would go to. Just last year. Yeah, sorry, man, yeah. But yes. but you know what? It's, it's you know I miss him. But he yeah. had a wonderful life. That's it. Yeah. Was not sick. Uh -huh. Went to McDonald's each week and they drink his coffee. And they had uh -huh. he was in the um, Elk Club and uh -huh. he was in some some other, he was in the choir and. Oh, yeah. I mean, they had a. They had a. They had a. Um, a, a, a picture of him, like you know, at the the repast and stuff. Uh -huh. They did the video on him. He just he was leading the song. He doing this, and he about this song. Now he doing this, and they couldn't even keep up with him. <laughs> so. That's the way I want to be. Yeah. You know, we kind of we braced ourselves because he had lost his um, wife a year and a half before, uh, and yeah. stuff, and they had been together. That year before when she had passed, it would have been 68 years. Damn. It would have been 68 years, years. yeah. So, so we, we kind of, you know, we kind of we kind of felt it and stuff. But now his little sister just turned 96 Damn. last month. And then his little brother will be 88 next month. Wow. That's his baby brother. That's impressive. So it's two left. It's two uh -huh. left, yeah. Whew. But yeah, because my, my, my great grandmother lived to be 95. Her big sister lived to be 98. They little sister lived 10 days before her 100th birthday. Wow. And so what's the secret there? You know, good I, th eating, I think it's good. Eating. I think it's good uh -huh. eating and family. You know, yeah, they, right. they are really into like just taking care of one another. Yeah, and not, you know, not passing judgment. I have a, I have a, a, a cousin two years older than me that had five children by the time she was 23. She has two PhDs now in her own business. All her kids, matter of fact, she got a son that played pro in um, Canada. She has a daughter um, that, that's a nurse. She has a son that's a pharmacist. She got, all her kids are doing well. All her kids are doing well. Five kids by the time she was 23. She had that fat, and, and her mom passed away um, when her kids was little. When she was in, um, she was going for her BA when her mom passed away. She done surpassed it. She said, well, well you know, that's, despite like all the stereotypes, despite what Donald Trump says, that's the real story of black people. Of black folks. people. <laughs> yes, you know, that's I was right. just talking to another sister. Got four kids and got her master's degree. Uh, you know, many of I went back to school as an old man. You know, I'm going back to school now. Yeah, right. I'm going to continue learning. Right. Uh, and, and that's the real story. Exactly. Because I mapped my own education. I'm working on my second PhD, but oh, I mapped my, okay. map my own education. I didn't go through the... Now, I don't owe thousands of dollars, and I learn on my own terms. I take trainers and stuff conducive to what I want to learn and it makes me the expert uh, and, and I, I get to put it out there actually that's why I'm up here now because uh, I'm today I, I turned 66 oh all right. you so, look good I'm yeah, right no, now thank you <laughs> but at age 
262 in Minnesota, you can take yeah. classes at any state school <laughs> for $10 or $20 a credit. Oh. And so that's like, that's why I'm back there. I was actually going to pursue, they, they have a new doctorate in design program and the School of Architecture. And I talked to him, I thought about it, but I thought, what I really want to do? Right. And this is what I really want to do, so, I yeah. should tell my uncle. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Because, he, yeah, he, 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 he turned 65. Uh-huh. So, like, any time, if any state school, university, actually, up here at St. Paul College, they charge $20 a credit. Uh -huh. At the University of Minnesota, they only charge $10 a credit. Really? So, for graduate credits as well, too. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. So, that's good. But anyway, saying that to say, and that's so our story. Yeah. And, uh, and I mean, us like continually taking the next step out, out from generation to generation to generation. There. And it ain't our fault right. that we got, right. that many times we don't have right. the right. financial right. wealth to right. pass on. But you got, like, you, what you're talking about is this <laughs> grand and great legacy mm -hmm. even you're, you're just talking about food and that's just a little bit of family mm -hmm. <laughs> you know yeah. uh but really yeah that's what that's yeah because i didn't even touch on my father's side of the family. <laughs> 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 and i got two fathers i got my first father who uh, i thought was my father was a maury story yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's episode five <laughs> So and you got to remember to and, ask and my, him about And my first father came up here for Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. This past Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah. came up here, yeah. So, yeah. Ooh, I better go into this um, BCLI. Oh, yeah.